In this presentation, we will record the receipt of a payment and then make the deposits related to it. In other words, in the past, we have entered the invoices. Now we're going to record the receipt of the payment on the invoices and the deposits into the checking account. Let's get started with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're currently in the Customer and Sales section. We have in the prior uh, presentations entered some invoices. Now we're going to record the receive of the payment of those invoices and the deposit. We'll do this a little bit differently than we have in the past in that we're going to record the receipt payment but not the deposit slip. And then we're going to use this item down here to group the deposits so that we will, it'll help us with the bank reconciliation process. So let's see what we have here. We're going to go to the sales invoice and I just want to take a look at the view and edit the sales invoices. So we're going to view and edit the sales invoices if i make this large then this is what we have i'm going to make this for the entire year so let's make this for this year these are going to be the two invoices we're going to be dealing with the five of uh, the 54750 and the 851 that we're going to be receiving payment and making the deposit for so let's close this back out we're then going to go to the receive payment so i'm going to say receive payment and select the receive payment item i'm going to make this large and we're going to say the first one is going to be for, uh, I'll just make a ticket number. Let's make it. And then I'm going to say this is uh, Eric Music. So we're going to pick up Eric Music. Notice it bounced over here to the left side to pick up that invoice on the tab. Then as we go through here, I'm just going to pick up a number here and here. Then we're going to say that uh, the date, let's say the date is going to be 01 and the receipt amount i'm gonna say is going to just be the whole thing so i'm going to check this off and that'll put in the 547.50 we'll keep it at the check and this time i'm not going to put it into the to the cash on hand i'm going to put it into the checking account and then, and then i'm also going to make a change this time i'm going to remove the uh deposit ticket id and that's going to tell the system hey look this isn't we didn't actually deposit so it'll go through to the next system so we can deposit it in a group sum at least with regards to the deposit that we'll see in the grouping on the bank reconciliation so i'm going to i'm going to keep it at that that looks good what's going to happen when we record this it will actually record the fine the transaction going into the checking account and then the other side is going to be uh, decreasing the accounts receivable but it'll also allow us for the grouping because we didn't include the ticket. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to say save and then uh, say yes. Then I'm going to close this back out. Then if I go down to my deposit down here and I go to the uh, view and edit the deposits. Actually, let's close that back out. I don't want to view them. I want to take a look at the drop down and have the new deposit. Now we see that deposit appearing here. So it's going to be appearing here so that we can now group them together. We could show how the grouping is going to be related on the uh, bank statement, even though it's also recorded uh, in the checking account on uh, the financials. So let's take a look at that. If I go to the reports drop down, we go to let's take a look at the general ledger this time. So let's go to the general ledger uh, reports and take a look at the trial balance. We're going to open up the working trial balance. We're going to go into the options up top. And then within the options, we're going to say the period is going to be for January 31st. So that's going to be the period. I'm going to remove the zero balances. So I'm then going to say OK. So then we have the deposit in the checking account. If I double click then on the checking account, we're going to have that deposit on the 25th. Actually, it was on the 29th, it looks like, for that uh, 547.50. So there's the actual deposit. So it still went through, even though we have that deposit kind of grouping system that we can still look in the grouping system. So it still went into the checking account here. I'm going to close this back out as opposed to the prior way we did it, which was to put it through the clearing account, which was the cash on hand account, and then deposit it as a group uh, format. The other side then decreasing the receivable, going into the receivable then, we've got the 547.50 uh, there as well. I'm going to close this back out, <clears throat> minimize this one, minimize this and then we'll we'll go through this process again so we're going to say receive payment i'm going to receive another payment this time and this time it's going to be for that music stuff store so this time i'm not going to have a ticket so we're not going to include the ticket and then i'm going to go down here and say it's going to be for music uh, stuff store which is this one it popped over to the left hand side i'm going to make this on the 29th as well so i'm going to make it 012920 we'll put the reference number up top 
and the receipt number and then I'm just gonna check off this amount we're gonna check it off so we'll say check this off there's the 851.25 so we have the 851.25 it's gonna be a check it's gonna be going into the checking account but we're not gonna have the deposit slip up top same thing's gonna happen it's gonna increase the checking account the other side is gonna decrease the accounts receivable but it's also gonna have that grouping mechanism to put us uh, to actually make the deposit so let's then say save and we're gonna say yes so we'll record that item close this back out we'll go back up top close this back out and then we'll go into the deposits down below and we're gonna make a new deposit so within the new deposit I'm gonna group these together I'm, I'm gonna group them together as of 012920 it's gonna be the deposit date and so then I'm gonna group these two together I'm gonna check them off and now I'm, it, this is basically showing hey we got these two deposits that we put into our checking account but we're going to be grouping them together here. So when we make the actual deposit into the bank, we're going to be grouping them together. This is going into the checking account. So that looks good. That's what we want. Let's go ahead and save that. So you're about to modify a transaction that is not in the current period. Do you want to continue? We're going to say yes. And so there we have that. I'm going to close this back out. Then let's go back to our reports. So let's go back to the trial balance. And let's update the trial balance i'm going to say uh, refresh refresh the trial balance and then go back up top if i double click on the account up top then we have our deposit for the music stuff store of the 851 there's our two deposits that we have made now the 547.50 and the 851.25 closing that back out the other side then being closing that back out in the accounts receivable double clicking the accounts receivable to check it out we see that uh, we have uh, the music stuff store now going down of that 851.25 you can start to see of course the trend in the receivable it going up and then of course decreasing it going up and then decreasing you should be able to kind of check and tick and tie off the increases and decreases in the receivables closing this back out we also note that the receivable will of course be supported by another report that's going to be tracking this information by customer that's going to be it for now let's get out of here